Today we're going to have a look at a really cool feature of TextMesh Pro, and that's adding inline sprites. You can do this to add things like emojis inside of your text, or a more useful thing for us in game design is you can use it to, for example, if you need three potions and you've got a little potion icon, you can then put your potion icon in line with the text. And so it's a really powerful thing that allows you to add any sprite that you want inside your text while typing it out in the text screen. So let's add UI a text mesh component and import TMP essentials. I'm just going to make this canvas camera, drop it onto the main camera, put the distance as one. And now frame up on the canvas. I'm going to make my gizmos a little bit smaller. Now let's move the text into the center. Make it a bit larger. I'm also going to set my camera I have a solid color. Let's just go with black. So it's actually built into Text Mesh Pro, and you don't even need to do anything to make it work initially. So you go example, sprite, so as you can see, the emoji is put inside there. However, there's only 16 of these, and it's, you know, you're stuck with their emojis. However, you can change this to work with any sprite that you want. But to do this, I've got a sprite sheet here that I've made. It's made with Kenny Asset that I've just stuck, stuck a nice little background on and embossed it. Any sprite sheet you have will work. You just need to spread them around evenly into a grid. If you want to download this one, the download link is in the description. It's free, or if you wanted to donate to the channel to support it, you can also do that there. So now that you've got here, you want to turn it into a sprite. You're going to want to change it to multiple, and you're going to want to go to the sprite editor. However, it'll give you this warning that there's no sprite package. So let's go and put that package in. The window package manager change to unity registry search for sprite and download 2d sprite or install it okay the so next up you're going to want now you've set your sprite mode to multiple you go to your sprite editor you're going to want to slice it Find a lever as automatic. However, you're going to want to change your pivot to the bottom left corner so that when it's put in line with the text, it's at the same height. And here you can go, you can see it sliced it. Let's apply that and close that. Next thing you want to do is right click on your icon sheet or whatever one you have, XMesh Pro, and choose Sprite Asset. And it will create this sheet for you and it will have all of the characters and it will have everything here now go to your text extra settings and as a place for a sprite asset drop that in here and you can now see that it's changed to the sprite asset if you click back on your sprite asset and go to your table you can also change the name of these so for example i've changed this to bow if you wanted to refer to your sprite by the name rather than the number you go sprite name and you put the name in here so if you did rename all of your sprites you could use this method to address them rather than the numbers 
And that might be really useful if you've got a lot of them, so that you don't have to remember what the index is for the icon that you're looking for. And you can individually edit these. I wouldn't recommend editing them. I would recommend doing it during the slicing stage. So if you're unhappy with how it's sliced, slice it manually, and then you'll get the points where you want them to be, rather than having to edit all of these numbers. And there's just one more thing that I wanted to mention, which is if you wanted your sprites to just to be the default ones and replace the emoji so that you don't have to drop these in into your sprite asset every time, you just go edit, project settings, text mesh pro settings, and here you can just replace the emoji one with your one. And now the default sprites will be the ones that you have. Hope you found this useful. I think it's a really cool thing that you can do. So hopefully it will help some of you in your game development. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel and let me know and gives me the confidence that people like the content and want to see more. Hope you enjoy your game development.